Hey, this is Mike Beer from Suicide Tennessee's, and you're watching Chaos TV. So, hello everyone. Tuska day number one here at Helsinki, Finland, and we have here Mike Muir from the band Suicidal Tendencies as guest. So, first of hello and welcome to Finland, man, once again. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Okay, so uh, you have now been playing loads and loads of different summer festivals in Europe. So, yeah. how has it been? Oh, it's been really good. We've uh, been on a few festivals that we've never played before. Um, uh, some just a really uh, huge amazing a lot of really a lot of fun doing uh, some of our own shows in between and uh packing hot sweaty <laughs> people in between so uh it's a good good mix so are you like the kind of guy who actually prefer those uh, intense no. club shows over festivals or no i mean um you know it's uh uh our bus driver was at our show we're just in you know in spain and and uh You know, you pack in uh thirteen hundred people in a place that should probably be seven hundred people and uh okay. it's a hundred and you know, forty five uh fifty <laughs> getting up there where it's raining and uh I that's not fun to me. And it's just dripping and pouring super hot. Um I, I like um uh I like energy, but I think energy is not confined. I think a lot of people just aren't um they're out of place in different elements. I have a much difficult time in a small place. I don't okay. like feeling cof- claustrophobic. I like to move. Okay. So, um, you know, everyone's different. You do uh, uh, one festival. There's sixty-five thousand people. We just headlined one in Colombia, or um, in uh, um, yeah, Colombia. You know, ninety-five thousand people, and then you do some that you know, uh, you know, much smaller. But it's it's all it's all what you make out of it and how you do it. It's fun. Okay, so World Gone Mad, new album from you, and you now now obviously you have been supporting and playing those songs live as well. So generally, have you been pleased with the feedback you have received and the fans' reactions when you have played the new songs live? Oh yeah, it's been great. I mean, obviously, uh, one of the parts is you know having Dave in the band. That's been huge. Um, we've you know I realized it uh, a while back when they were talking about playing certain places and. They got these offers for this, and I was a little confused. And they're talking about 2018, and this is 2016, you know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's like I'm like, man, I can't. It's getting way too far ahead to commit <laughs> to stuff. So we've, uh, you know, been doing so much stuff and and having the chance to do a lot of things that we never had the chance to do before. So um, appreciate that and turning down a lot of things we probably would have liked to have done but it's just there's only so much time that you have and and you got to keep your sanity and and um and your family too so so obviously dave is a new member in the band and for him this was the first album with the band so did he actually bring a lot of like fresh blood into the group while coming to it definitely um the thing about dave is he's similar to us um i think there's a lot of people when they do something for a long time what in life in general where it's their if it's Um, their patterns or jobs, whatever they do, habits, they just become the same person and they cannot deviate from it. Yeah. And um, we've always tried to be the people that have always changed. And um, uh, having Dave in there too is one where he doesn't want to live in the past. He gets up there and there's so many people that just, uh, you know, borderline, you know, worship his drumming and stuff. And they come yeah. to the show, they're so excited you know he can't have an off night and um i think too for same thing for us as a band a lot of people that's that they're they're used to seeing older quote unquote older bands and you can see them kind of they're they're there but they're not there you okay. know they're going through the motion and my dad always said uh, sweat don't lie and when you believe in something you can tell and i think that's Um, one of the things, a lot of times, uh, it's interesting with the uh, the reviews, especially in the, some of the bigger festivals we did. They were comparing us to some of the bands that that are been doing it for 20 years, yeah. and they said Suicidal's been doing it way longer. <laughs> and it goes, they look like they wanted to be there, and the other bands look like they were just waiting to get paid. Yeah, but, so. but you, usually when I'm seeing live videos of your band, you you can clearly see that you are enjoying when you are playing. You can see it like yeah. kilometers away from the stage. It's you know. But this way, I love my family. I miss them, and it's it's um. There's a lot of uh, certain sacrifices you go through, but I believe what we're doing here is important. And if I didn't do my best, and um, you know, f- for us too, it's we're we're 
we're trying to be the alternative. I mean, it used to be everybody used to use that word alternative. We're an alternative band yeah, yeah, yeah. and I uh, couldn't use it anymore. But we want to be the, the comparison so people see the differences. They're going to hear certain similarities in certain bands. Things become popular over the years. It's always been that way and people kind of try to sound a certain way. We come up and we do our thing. And I think that's very important whether people like it or not or get it or not is don't do what everybody else is doing. <laughs> Nothing good comes out of that, you know. And um, what I say, whether, you know, take it on a bigger level, everybody that's done anything in this world, great inventions, at the time everybody thought they were crazy, you know, and they didn't listen to other people, yeah, you know. Yeah. And um, I think the problem is too many people that, that have a lot of potential, a lot of intelligence, unfortunately they have a lot of self-doubt and they look around rather than looking forward yeah. and they listen to the wrong people. And um, I think the best thing to do, as my dad said, is don't try to fit in. The only people to try to fit in are the ones that can't stand out. Do your own thing, do it for the right reasons, and you're going to end up, you know, uh, in a much better place. I read an interview recently, correct me if I am incorrect with this fact, mm. but, but you said that like when it comes to like releasing new music with Suicidal, it's like uncertain whether you're gonna en- en- ever release a full length album anymore. So do you actually feel that you have said everything that you are about to say as a musician or why do you feel actually that way? Well, what what actually the origin was, as I said, that with uh, World Gone Mad, I felt that that was um, a, a great record that if it came to the point, I wanted to do a record that came to the point that we didn't do anything else that I would be happy with okay. how everything felt together and stuff. And you go back to the uh, record before we do it, we, before we hadn't done a record for 13 years. And you look around with everything that's happening, you don't know... You know, I just had a friend that was just crossing the streets in the hospital now, you know, yeah. got hit by a car. You, you never know what's going to happen. And um, I, I the other side is, is we've had, uh, you know, because of the other side of music, Pro Tools, we've had our own studio, as everybody does, for so long that a lot of times we, we got record music all the time okay. um that's a different process between recording stuff and then doing a record and, and and putting out and with this one we've been out for um i mean basically we were out for a year before the record came out and we going all through next year so it's like to sit about even think about doing a record we had done an ep that had said that um we're probably putting out which we're going to put out in the fall which was originally going to come out before um this record and then we switched it and put the record first but we're always recording i just don't think that i think a lot of people get into the habit of just okay it's time to do a record we do a record put it out tour this and that and um not going to really be in that habit and you know when we did our first record um one of uh First interviews, they said, "What do you be doing in five years?" I said, "I'm five years. I don't think I'll be in a band, <laughs> you know." And uh, so I, I try not to to plan that far ahead. And um, you know, I love music. The music that I love, I love. And um, you know, I don't necessarily feel like uh, the process that that is is important. I, I I'd rather play shows. And then there'll be a time when that's not going to happen anymore. So not to sound defeatist or whatever, but I never thought I would make it to 30 years old. So let yeah. alone doing the band for 30 years. And um, so we look at it more of a sense, like I said, not to be defeatist, but in the situation like, hey, this may be your last show. And if it's your last show, I want it to be fucking great. Yeah, you yeah. know, so where I think other people, you see them, um, especially, you know, Europe and tour and you see the people and they're like uh, staying at the same hotel at a festival and they just look beat up. And yeah, yeah. and you're like, wow, how long have you been out there? Two weeks. And we're like, oh, man, <laughs> and they're already already like sick. And I'm like, wow, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I've been out for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I, I sit there, like I said, if you don't want to be where you're at then something's wrong so obviously you have ha- like released a lot of albums so do you actually feel that you actually even need to release any new music because i guess you have a really loyal fan base that expect also to hear those classic songs mm-hmm. well i think obviously um having dave play live was uh and 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 on the record was very important that was very cool i think that the the lyrically and uh, musically um the last record we were really excited about it's a record that, that i love and a record i know that i put it into parameters when i was 16 i was quite the critic music critic yeah. and uh something if i could go back in time and someone played me that record i'd be going 
Now that's what I, I can get into that and stuff. So I think that was more of a barometer of what we uh, wanted to do. I think we'll always do music. Um, there's there's a lot of vehicles and different vehicles to do it. Um, I, I don't uh, I like the part of doing the interviews and the you doing the record, the whole promotion and like you're trying to sell something or like yeah. that. That's the the part that I don't do. Uh, um, appreciate to, yeah. yeah and sitting there and and you know going through where you're doing uh you know five hours of interviews a day for six days in a row and you forget who you're talking to or what you're yeah. saying and you know trying to do that while you know uh quote unquote being at home and dealing with everything just a lot of things like that not to complain it's just um i'm not that's not not i'm never was good at that i don't like doing yeah. that not comfortable doing that and um so i you know I'm, I'm like i said i'm happy to be here i feel very fortunate to be here i think there's a lot of people that that have never seen us before they're going to see us tonight and you know the the two big things are going to be people like fuck and someone else is like the heads go down and yeah. Uh, yeah. they're like this is definitely not me yeah. and 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 that's the same thing when we started off you know suicidal is not a band for everybody you know definitely not the pussies so um i shouldn't say that that just bitches assholes punks losers no no <laughs> i think that a, a lot of times on the other side too um there'll be people that uh playing festivals is good because they'll say i always saw people wearing the stuff but i never associated the music never really heard it so i saw them and i'd go and saw the pictures of you and i go that's not me they didn't see yourself where as more you know maybe some of the metal bands probably dude party yes do it you know like to that kind of thing when they see it then they go they have a chance to actually judge it for the music and um you know that's that's where we do best is where people actually see us and judge it and stuff you know so Okay, so in the end, still a bit about the upcoming EP. So is it yeah. is it gonna be like something totally new material, or is it something that was left over it's with the World Gone Mad album sessions, or what kind of material is that? It's actually, um, I, I would say, probably is the first record that it's a little more um, uh, specifically a statement of the time and a little bit more. Uh, It could be interpreted as political. People always say we're political. I say I'm not political. I just don't like to be fucked with, and um, I and I don't like when people fuck with themselves. Yeah, you yeah. know, um, people will very easy say, "Oh, the politicians are fucking with me," and I, and if you watch them in their life, I go, "Dude, you're doing more fucking damage to your life than any politician <laughs> ever has." And uh, this one's on a little more um, uh, political, maybe. Uh, okay. uh, uh, approach and stuff so it'll definitely not be for a lot of people it'll piss a lot of people off unintentionally but I think um, uh, I find that a lot of people feel like Mike you need to say this and what they think that I need to say is what their opinion is yeah, yeah, and yeah. they only want their opinion they don't want to hear anybody else's opinion and I think people aren't thinking I think they're standing behind opinions And it's just standing behind be- opinions. They're not standing behind facts. They don't want facts to get in the way yeah. of their opinion. And not saying that I know what is right, but I think the point is people need to um, uh, reevaluate certain things. My dad always said that. He goes, I'm not gonna tell you what to think. I'm just going to make sure you are thinking. And if you're thinking and you come to a conclusion that's based upon um, investigation, yeah. knowledge, open-mindedness, and then you get there, that's fine. And then if you're willing to um, always look around and see what it is, but when you put the blinder on your face... Yeah, yeah. and believe yeah. everything and that's on the news. Yeah. yeah, and believe just who you want yeah. to believe, then you're emotionally deaf, and and, and I don't like that. And, um, you know, I have three kids, so I worry about that, you know. Yeah, yeah. So hey, thank you a lot for taking no time worries. to do this interview with us, and best of luck for the future. Anything cool. you want to say as us what's the Finnish fans who is gonna watch this afterwards? Cool. Thank, just thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you again uh, next year.